I teach in a high school and we just got a new principal. <laughs> he used to coach wrestling. And all part reports are that his handshake is super aggressive. I don't know if this is how he tries to establish alpha dog or if he is just like that naturally. When I meet him, I, do I try to match his handshake just so he respects me? Or do I try to use a dainty southern shake so he knows he's dealing with a person of high intellect? That's from Mano Mano. Here's the thing. If you don't react, he's not establishing anything. So, I don't know. I've known people like that before who have gone in to shake your hand and just, like, crush it. But I feel like that's something a villain in a movie does. Not something, like... A handshaky principle does. Yeah. Um, can I make a suggestion? Maybe when he shakes your hand, you just make a face like, is that it? Why don't you do this? First time you meet this this fool, this wrestle, wrestle leader, I want you to <laughs> grab his hand. I want you to grab his hand firm. Oh, as firm as you can. But that's not where you're going to scare him. Because you're obviously you're concerned about weaving a tapestry of fear over this uh, wrestle principle. Uh, you shake his hand real hard with that one. And then you sort of bring your other hand in to his, like, forearm, like you're doing, a, like, a Roman centurion handshake. But, Ooh, but, that's oh, good. But what's that on your finger? It's the Gom Jabbar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like you've got a death needle on your finger. So you're going to have you just that. just look him in the eye and say, you must not fear. No, no, no. Here's the mind wanna, I want to hear the whole litany. The whole litany against fear from you, sir. And only then will I let you go. What's the mind killer? Say it now. Tell me now. Ooh, if he's gonna come in with strength, right? You use that intellect. You go for the hug. He goes for That's the handshake. Pretty you go for good. the hug. And then when you like go Love in to wrap, so hard. Yeah, you wrap right? your you wrap your arm around him. But then like your hand is on his back, right shoulder. Then it scooches a little bit closer to his neck. What's that on your finger? It's the Gom Jabbar. <laughs> Fear is the little death. Listen, um, we can all agree that no matter what, the Gom Jabbar has the to Gom be. The Gom has got to be part of the scenario. equation. You can find one on Amazon. There's one for sale on Amazon Prime Day. I got uh, I got a you box go with I got a box with three Gom Jabars and 16 cans of Pam cooking spray. <laughs> <laughs> you have the handshake, right? You make a connection. You say like, "Hey, let's grab a cup of coffee sometime," right? You sit down for a cup of coffee at Starbucks. He takes a drink. What's that in his coffee? It's, it's the Gom, Gom Jabbar. I'm gonna here. This is what I want to do. I'll go in. I'll hug him real tight. What's that on my finger close to his neck? It's a Gom Jabbar. What's that on my handshake hand? It's another Gom Jabbar. And also, my whole body's slippery because I've sprayed myself down with Pam. He doesn't know which way to fuck me. <laughs> How about this? He goes in for a super strong handshake. You are watered. You're fluid. You use his strength against him, and you throw him over your shoulder to the floor. <laughs> and what's that on the floor? What's that on the floor? Gom it's a Jabbar. mattress made out of Gom Jabbar's. Oops. <laughs> Welcome to Saw Five. But then he spreads he spreads his weight out evenly, so no. And the he is not is pierced. Yes. How about this? You go in and you go to shake his hand really hard, and then somebody comes in to shake his other hand. What's that? It's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> What's that? Wait. All ten of his fingers. Ten Gom Jabars. <laughs> Man, I hope everybody's seen our Red Dune.